Sky is running a business that is facing losses and her ex-boyfriend, Gavin, is the only one who can help her. As they partner up to reinvent the store, some old feelings start coming back. The market at Crystal Cove Heritage Pier is bustling with activity, when Sky walks up to Mrs. Sanders with a special delivery. As the owner of Lather & Luxury, Sky is responsible for creating self-care products that blow her customers away. Mrs. Sanders is a huge fan of her dreamy lavender explosions that help her get a good night's sleep. Before she leaves, Mrs. Sanders gives her a necklace from her shop that was inspired by her. At Rogers & Rogers Law Firm, Gavin shares with his father Vance that their net operating income has increased by 12% in the last quarter. Vance doesn't expect anything less from a company like theirs which has maintained their position as a market leader. He also wants to increase their global ownership, which is why Gavin has already locked in the shopping complex to increase their retail ownership. Vance is impressed with the Crystal Cove deal and is pleased he made the effort to mold Gavin into his right-hand man. When Gavin asks why he wants to acquire property in the area, Vance reminds him how important it is to separate business from emotions. Zoe had an amazing first date but knows the dessert played a huge role. When Sky mentions she's planning to take her mother, Linda, to the romantic restaurant, Zoe really thinks she needs to date again. Linda seems worried as she reads Lather and Luxury's financial projections, but decides to avoid that topic. Even she knows Sky hasn't dated anyone in years, and being committed to her work doesn't seem like a good excuse. Sky wants to get a three-tier cake for their business 10-year anniversary party, but Linda suggests they could use that money elsewhere. Sky doesn't understand why her mother is sticking around when she should be enjoying her retirement. Linda wants to hold off for a bit because she doesn't want all the pressure to come on Sky. When Gavin gets a chocolate croissant for Vance, he knows he wants something. Gavin shows him a few retailers who can help them triple their income in the coming year. He is specifically interested in saving the bath store, lather and luxury, even with their downward profit trends and a possible eviction notice. Gavin still thinks that instead of giving up on the store, the firm can use their trademark strategy to relaunch their brand, thereby expanding their portfolio. Gavin always wants to root for the underdogs, and he feels that their move could help their firm and the person who needs it. When Gavin offers to cover the costs of relaunch out of pocket, Vance agrees to let him tie it but wants him back if the test run fails. Vance agrees to prepare the jet for him but isn't interested in tagging along, even if his elder son, Cole, is currently in Crystal Cove too. At their 10-year party, Sky thanks her customers and celebrates their hard work. Gavin reaches the store and stands right behind Sky to ask about the owner. She drops cake on his shoe when she recognizes him, but he apologizes instead and they get very awkward. When he learns she's the owner, he's surprised since the lease didn't mention her last name. She clarifies that she used her mother's maiden name, and Linda claims it's great to see him after so many years. He informs them about Vance acquiring the shopping complex and discusses how her company is not on track with the quarterly goals. Sky knows there's an issue but is sure their sales will pick up in the holiday season. He doesn't think that will be enough and offers to help her get a new marketing plan on behalf of his firm so she can revamp her business. She refuses his help but when she learns she might lose her shop, he gives her his card and asks her to sleep on it. Sky feels bad Gavin came back after 15 years just to work on some deal. But Zoe and Linda are sure his intention isn't bad and genuinely believe he didn't expect to run into her. Zoe has read up about how profitable his company is, and even Linda thinks they could use his help. But Sky doesn't feel the need to ask for her ex-boyfriend's expertise on how to run her own business and feels like they've overcome similar obstacles before. Linda knows their situation is much worse now, but Sky is determined to take Gavin's return as a sign that she needs to focus more on her business strategy. Gavin feels weird about choosing the one property in the area that also happens to be Sky's and doesn't want to let her down again. He also knows that if he can't prove that he can save the business, his dad will remove him as his right-hand man. Cole knows Vance has been very cold since they started the company in Manhattan, which is why he wants to stay out of this. Sky has been working non-stop on some new face masks and recipe ideas in her signature style, and asks Zoe and Linda to help her try them. They feel very relaxed and when Linda's skin is much better after she takes off the mask, Sky knows their products are golden and will be off the shelves soon without Gavin's help. Linda confesses she hasn't been completely honest and shows her the accounts to let her know that they're in a much worse situation than Sky expected. She feels bad about hiding this, but Sky understands she wanted to help and knows she has no choice but to meet Gavin. He's happy when he gets the text from Sky but also gets a call from Vance for an update. Gavin is planning to meet more retailers that day and informs him about fixing a meeting with the manager of Lather and Luxury to discuss their collaboration. Vance doesn't want him spending too much time on it and hopes the owner is self-sufficient. Cole wants to go on a hike with Gavin, but he needs a concrete plan to pitch to Sky first. Cole thinks his meeting with Sky brought back some other feelings, but he doesn't want to discuss this. Gavin notices she still comes to the same spot to make all her big decisions, and she's surprised he remembers. She taunts him for randomly leaving one day, and he wants to explain why he did, but Sky insists their meeting should be strictly professional. 
He knows her line is unique, so the loyal customers will come back. But if she doesn't keep changing her products, they don't have a reason to be back once they've tried everything. It's also unlikely to attract new customers, so he wants to focus on structure, strategy and people to help the business. She wonders why a huge company like his wants to spend time on her store, so he explains that he has witnessed many stores like hers shutting down because of things they can't control. He feels lucky to have learned from the best and wants to use his knowledge to help others. He knows that if his plan with Sky succeeds, his father will let him help other small businesses. She agrees to work with him if he can give his time and financially back the project. But she also wants things to be professional, so they agree to never talk about their past. When Sky informs Linda and Zoe about officially partnering with Rogers and Rogers, they're excited and offer to help in any way. Gavin drops by two since he thinks they can already get started on the store. He introduces himself to Zoe but she gets nervous and drops something. Sky apologizes for her but Gavin knows a lot of people get nervous in front of corporate partners. When he looks around the store, he starts thinking from the consumer's perspective and feels like they need to rearrange things to attract them more. He also thinks the costly items should be placed at the back on a flashy display so the customers can be greeted in the front and their choices can be strategically bundled with the expensive items. Zoe doesn't want to distract her customers with something flashy just so they buy things they don't need. But Gavin thinks everyone does it. He doesn't want her to ignore the customer's needs but feel like they need to come at a compromise. She shows him what her store is about and gives him a product that reminds people of salty air and sunscreen, just like they're on a beach. This product, like all others, comes with a story since she made it for a girl who couldn't go to the beach so her dad could gift it to her at home. He feels the girl would be happier with the whole basket of the product, but she doesn't think of her business as a money-making machine and doesn't want to lose its true essence. He starts smelling other products too when their old friend Tucker Johnson comes in and feels weird about Gavin shopping in a place like that. He admits he's helping Sky with the business and offers to help Tucker with his shopping. He doesn't know the name of the product he wants but remembers the smell since he takes the bubble baths to help him relax from his injury. Gavin doesn't get it right so Sky comes from the back and gives him exactly what he's looking for. He feels like they're dating but they clarify they're only working together. Since Gavin has missed their 10-year reunion, he suggests they can do another mini reunion. When he looks over at Sky, she makes some excuse, but Tucker insists it won't be the same without Gavin's partner in crime. Sky knows she can't get out of this but wants to show Gavin her new plan. She feels like the best way for him to understand the brand is to try the products. She shows him the three main pillars of her business for cleansing, soothing and hydrating. The first product smells like peaches to him and he tries it out in the water. When he tries the second one, she holds it closer to him, and he recognizes the smell of plumeria, her favorite flower. It reminds him of his Hawaii trip for Cole's 16th birthday, after which, he brought her the same flowers to make things official between them. But to respect their deal about talk of the past, he changes the topic to ask her for the story behind these products. She admits she was in a vulnerable place and needed a distraction when she started cooking. Since being in the kitchen felt therapeutic, it led to her baking and experimenting with recipes for things other than food and infusing them with her favorite fragrances. This led to her first batch of bath and body products 15 years ago, after he left. She learned a lot about self-care in the process and wanted to share it with others. So, she rented a booth and sold her handmade products till she raised enough money to start the store. He loves the story and moves on to the final product for moisturizing. When he doesn't do it properly, she takes his hands and guides him on how to enjoy the process. She knows people have forgotten how important it is to take out time for themselves, and feels like if she can give anyone even 15 minutes of stress-free life in a day, her work is done. Gavin seems more relaxed too and jokes how it's because he took off his power jacket. She agrees he needs to ditch the jacket to look more like himself. He asks about her trade secrets since he noticed her working on some designs earlier. She knows she will implement those ideas too when she can afford it. He understands that she doesn't want his marketing plans disrupting the essence of her store but hopes they can come to a compromise. When she asks why he cares so much, Zoe interrupts them to let her know the work is done. As Gavin decides to leave too, Sky gives him a few products as a parting gift for a first-time customer. Zoe thinks she's responsible for helping Sky get some clarity in a complicated situation. As her best friend, she hands over Sky's sketchpad to him with the promise that he'll use her designs and vision to help her out. Sky never imagined she would have to compromise her business like this, but she knows she took a decision to take Gavin's deal, so she'll try to make the most of it. She isn't sure she trusts him completely but feels like he has been very helpful lately. When Linda asks about any lingering feelings, Sky thinks she doesn't need to worry. Gavin decides to test the bath bombs while looking at Sky's designs. Cole smells lavender and vanilla and teases him about taking a bubble bath. He insists he's working, and that he'll need Cole's clothes since Sky doesn't approve of his corporate attire. Sky has looked everywhere for her sketchpad when Zoe comes over to confess that she lent it to Gavin. Sky is more concerned about him leaking it to her competitors, but Gavin comes back to the store in casuals, and a model of a new way, in which he can help her business grow while retaining its essence. 
He thanks her for the sketchpad since it helped him get a lot of new ideas. He knows the new design is in sync with her signature style but also incorporates something to intrigue her customers. She likes the idea, but Gavin also wants her to do regular upgrades and create a limited edition collection on a quarterly basis. He thinks the collections can follow a beauty trend or seasonal themes, but the main idea is to entice people to come back for more. Their major goal is also to launch a new line at their grand reopening party. Since there's a lot left to discuss, Linda asks them to do it while they deliver an order. Mrs. Sanders is thrilled to see Gavin back in town and remembers how well his savviness always complimented Skye's creativity. When he excuses himself for a call, Mrs. Sanders thinks there's still some chemistry between them and has noticed there was no ring on his finger. Skye still thinks he might have someone back home, but Mrs. Sanders is sure the universe brought them together to sort out their past. Vance doesn't understand what's taking him so long since he needs Gavin to fly back to close another deal. Gavin reminds him that reinventing a business needs some work and asks for more time. Skye informs him about their ninth grade teacher trying to convince her that fate brought them together. Gavin knows Mrs. Sanders hasn't changed and reveals that she caught him in the first week of school staring at her, and arranged for them to sit together. Skye hopes these rumors don't reach back to his partner. He mentions he's single and when he asks about her, she knows her work is her only relationship. Skye thanks Zoe for stepping in and giving Gavin her designs when she was experiencing lack of judgment. She also reveals Gavin's plan of conducting a contest so customers can pitch their favorite fragrance combos, which can help them get new products for the collection and attract new customers. When Zoe's niece, Roxy, comes in, Skye compliments the glitter ball she made. She also gets an idea of how to bring in more people and asks Linda to cover for her. As Gavin distributes more flyers, Skye starts handing out free bath samples. He's happy she's in her element again and when he asks what she does for fun, she claims her work is the fun part because she gets to go on hikes and work with people she loves. He thinks she's lucky to wake up every morning and do something she loves, because his career seems to have been chosen for him. Zoe is jealous because Skye and Gavin went from business partners to sharing popcorn during sunset, and wants her to admit there's something between them. Cole comes to the event and tries to tease Gavin about his luxury bath, till he spots Zoe and gets distracted. Gavin introduces them, and when he notices a vibe, he takes Roxy away. Skye is ready to announce the winner judged by Linda, and opens the envelope, to read out the person's choice of fragrances and the memory associated with it. Cole wins the contest with a description of his memory from a summer when he didn't make the baseball team, so his little brother traded his bike to get tickets for a game. Sky and Gavin discuss their school days and he gets a unique idea of a bath bomb with Thai flavor and peanuts. She doesn't want their customers to feel like soup, but she thanks him for coming back to town and helping her. Gavin thinks it gets very lonely in a big city since he only has his dad who also cares more about the company. He's amazed by how so many people took out time to support Sky with something she made with her hands, and he really admires that about her. He tries to confess something, but when the waiter comes with the check, the moment is gone. Sky tries to make a list for her Sky's The Limit collection when Linda comes with an update about their latest bath bombs. Sky is struggling to be creative and Linda knows it's because of Gavin. She feels like he's only there for business, but Linda knows Gavin wouldn't put in so much effort if he didn't care about her. She doesn't want to get her hopes up because it took a long time to get over him and now she wants someone who will stick around with her like her dad did with her mom. Linda has had plenty of rocky moments too, but they always figured it out because they communicated with each other. She thinks it'll help if Skye directly asks Gavin why he left town. Gavin smells something great and finds Cole using the bath products he got as his gift. He claims he's only using them to give Zoe feedback but when he looks into the mirror and thinks his face looks amazing, Gavin takes a video. Cole indirectly tries to ask if Zoe is single, but Gavin thinks he's too obvious. Cole has also noticed Gavin's lovesick expressions for Skye and asks him to tell her the truth soon. That night while she's working, Gavin sends her Cole's video. Gavin greets a customer who wants a gift for his girlfriend. When he keeps getting the fragrances wrong, Skye takes over to suggest something she is sure his girlfriend will like. Gavin knows he can never sell products like her, so she thinks they should go on a hike to learn how she uses the flavors together. Linda and Zoe are impressed since Skye never takes anyone there. She brings him close to the mistletoe tree which Gavin engraved when they were younger so he could trick her into kissing him for the first time. She asks him to close his eyes and smell oranges, which he associates with something fresh and clean. She then adds a drop of musk in it to make it seem warm, which is how she usually layers her flavors. The next one is more complex, and she wants him to understand that people tend to associate an aroma with a specific time in their lives. This reminds him of his mom's perfume and how he used to go to the departmental stores to find it so he could smell her again. She feels like they need to make their own new memory through a product to celebrate their accomplishments. They walk around to find the ingredients and end up having a lot of fun. Skye refuses to have her photo in the store but Gavin takes Linda and Zoe's help to convince her she looks great in it. 
As they keep teasing each other, Linda notices Skye hasn't smiled like that in years. Zoe wonders what will happen when he leaves and thinks they should help them out. Zoe suggests they can call their new product something related to a fresh start, and Skye decides to settle for blooming blissful explosion. At the reunion, Gavin and Skye are working great as a team so everyone plots to separate them. She decides to sit out the next round and Gavin joins her. He's proud of how well he played after so many years and they discuss how after so many achievements in a day, they also have the grand reopening. He feels great hanging out with his favorite partner again and she asks if he leaves all his favorite things or he did that just with her. He explains that his family was going through a tough time after his mom passed away, and his dad blamed himself for not having the means to help her. After that, he decided to make so much money that he never has to face a situation like that again. This is why he went to New York and while Cole stayed behind, Gavin decided to follow the only parent he had left and started sharing his belief that the best way to get over the grief of his mom was to cut all ties with Crystal Cove. He confesses that his heart broke being away from her and he didn't call her because he knew he hurt her. As more time passed, it became harder to explain why he left. Sky knows she would have understood if he just told her, and he's relieved because he was carrying a lot of guilt. They decide to light a lantern after, and Cole asks Gavin to say goodbye to their friends. Zoe is excited that Cole asked her out on a date but is more interested to know why Sky is glowing. Sky thinks she had a moment with Gavin when he told her about the reason he left. From the way Gavin looks at her, Zoe is sure he still has feelings for her. But Sky doesn't think that makes a difference because Gavin will leave for New York soon and she'll get busy with her launch. Zoe just wants her to stop making excuses and ask Gavin directly about how he feels. Gavin shares with Cole that he still hasn't told Sky about Vance trying to shut down her business. Sky wants to discuss something with Gavin, but he claims he feels the same way about starting work on their last product. She agrees and decides to head back to the kitchen because she got some inspiration. She starts working on a new recipe to being back paradise while Vance shows up at Cole's place. He did some research on lather and luxury to understand why Gavin was taking so long to come back, and he feels disappointed his sons don't talk to him openly. Skye comes over with her latest product but Cole mentions it's not a good time. She overhears Gavin talking to Vance about selling her products to big retailers, after which, Vance also mentions she could get evicted. Skye wonders if they help all small retailers like this by distributing their products, and running them out of business. Gavin tries to explain that his plan was to save her store, but she thinks he knew about her owning the company all along and only came there to play with her feelings. She gives him the last product in the collection but knows they won't need it since she's canceling the grand reopening. Skye feels very stupid for trusting Gavin, even if Zoe and Linda think there might be more to the story since she didn't let him explain. Skye doesn't believe that but feels bad about canceling the reopening because she doesn't want to disappoint the customers who have always supported her. Zoe knows she has only told the men about the cancellation, so they can still work on it. Skye wants to head to the store but Zoe asks her to take the morning off since she knows she and Linda can manage the decorations. Gavin gives Vance the final product Skye made, which smells exactly like his mother. This is the first time Vance has truly remembered her and acknowledges how talented Skye is. When Gavin mentions she is his paradise, Vance apologizes for being hard on them. He realizes how much he missed out and knows what it's like to lose a loved one. Gavin doesn't know if he can get Skye back but still wants to make her dreams come true. He calls Linda to explain the misunderstanding and asks her to meet him at the store. G9 has started reporting on Skye's grand reopening and how excited the locals are about the latest collection. Linda and Zoe meet Skye outside the store when everyone is ready for her. Skye thanks them for joining her and is excited to share her new collection. Cole brings flowers for Zoe and apologizes for being late since he was helping with the store. Roxy has been inside too and thinks it's amazing. When Skye is about to enter, Gavin comes out of the store and starts apologizing. He confesses that the day he came back and saw her, all the feelings he was trying to push away for years came back. He knows he never stopped loving her, which is why he was committed to the store and wanted to change his father's mind. But she changed his mind herself with her work. He welcomes her to the new lather, luxury and love store, which seems like a dream come true to her. She's touched that he did all this for her and he knows he messed up, but hopes she will forgive him one day. She admits she created the store to spread love but realized when he came back that she was living without it. She forgives him and he promises to not let her go this time, and kisses her. Even Vance comes over to ask for her forgiveness and the reporter announces that love is the newest addition to the store as Skye and Gavin kiss again. 